today we will see next point in the structure chapter that is nested structure or structure within structure okay similar to nested loops nested if this similarly we can nested structure one structure we can nested one structure within another structure that the outer structure inner structure like that understood so it requires yes sometimes it requires okay so how sometimes it is required must for example first structure that is structure a that is a structure okay what is its data members its data members is integer a integer 1 integer here okay this is simple structure day hmm? and its data members are three data members day month and year all are in the integer data types i mean integer data types this is definition of the structure day previous that we can initialize structure within structure in two ways that is nested structure in two ways we can create two different structures okay and one structures variable is nested into another structure okay first we go with this type means what okay understand the structure date simple structure this is the definition there is no any structure variable it is a structure definition simply okay next structure suppose we take the example of structure employee so employee is a structure what is its data member its data member is integer employee id then integer salary and third data member is its date of join that is also most important when you join any organization okay we switch from one job to another job everywhere what is required as organization requires date of joining what is the date of joining of that particular employee so while we developing the software that is the most important part so date of joining you date of joining okay and what is its data type if we take in so it is not possible in digital then day there is a date having three data members what is the date what is the month and what is the year understood the example so we cannot and we cannot write like that also day month and year here instead of that what we can create date of joining and create the object or structure variable of struct date means what is the data type of that struct date and the date of joining this is a variable the structure variable and we can complete okay and we have to initialize declare e1 that is first step call or just e okay that is the object of struct emp and date of joining is the object of struct date now what happens Now, now what happens in the structure? We can nested another structure variable. This is also called as nesting of structure. This is one way. Clear? Understood? Struct date and what is the object? Date of joining. So this is structure within structure. So it is called as nested structure. this is first type another type is embedded structures which we can create one structure within structure itself okay that is next next part so this is called as nested structure okay now what we can initialize it we can initialize it here also how we can initialize it e is equal to so what is the first data member integer employee id suppose employee id is 101 That is first employee. Day. What is the salary? Suppose hundred dollars. Okay. Date of joining. What is the date of joining? So 
So how we initialize here itself? Okay, globally, how we initialize it? This is the problematic because date of joining is a structure type of variable. So again, structure to so write curly bracket first date. He joins at first January 2014. So how we write? One comma one comma year 2014 curly bracket and then curly bracket of that structure variable and then use the symbol. Okay, in this way we can initialize the nested structures. Okay, we can initialize it using nested structures. Understood? Or this is first way, we can statically initialize in this way also or there is another way. What is another way? For example, void main struct emp again I have created one another object of structure employee. What is that? E1. Then we have to statically initialize it. How we can initialize it? E1 dot employee ID is equal to 102. This is the employee ID. Next, E1 dot salary is equal to 500 dollar. Clear. Next, date of date of joining. So E1 dot dog J, okay, huh? Is equal to curly bracket. No, is equal to no because directly we cannot initialize. How we can initialize? E1 dot date of joining dot date dot date. And what is the value? Suppose he joins at second February 2015. So two. E1 dot date of joining dot month is equal to 2nd February okay and E1 dot date of joining dot year is equal to 2015 okay so in this way also we can initialize the data members of nested structure using dot operator okay each time it is dot dot because it is a member accessing operator. Clear? So DOJ that is date of joining is a data member or a variable with a structure. Now what is the DOJ? DOJ? It is a structure variable as well as it is a member of struct EMP. It is also a member, one of the member of structure EMP. So this is called as nested structure variable. This is called as nested structure variable. And how we can access the data members of date using the OGJ dot date dot month dot year. And how we can access through E or E1 E1 dot DOJ. Okay, date of date. In this way we can we can initialize statically data members of nested structure as well as suppose this is e1 comma e2 third way that is using dynamically printf enter hmm, date of joining okay Just enter how to enter date of joining only. Other data members that is employed in salary, we can enter regular way that is address of e2 dot emp id e2 dot salary. But now how to enter date of joining dynamically? So scan it percentage d percentage d percentage d double quotes comma through e2 so amper sign of e2 dot date of joining dot date comma amper sign of 
into dot date of joining dot one comma ampersand of into dot date of joining dot year. Okay. In this way, we have to initialize nested structure data member using dot operator. Clear? Understood? Or remaining one printer. What is remaining? Employee ID salary. Enter employee ID and salary comma scan it. Percentage D percentage D comma and percent of E2 dot EMP ID comma Ample sign of E2 dot salary semicolon. Clear. In this way, we can initialize ID of that employee particular and salary also and date of joining. Okay. Next part is how to display it on the console. Hmm? This is scanning part, then display, that is printer. Employee ID slash T slash T, then salary slash T, then date of joining, okay, slash N double quotes complete, then again print F. Now, three two. Only we can display the employee details of E2 structure variable. So, how to slash T first employee ID E2 percentage D slash T percentage D slash T percentage D. Now, here is option to you. If you want dash percentage D dash percentage d double quotes complete comma so that date of joining is print like suppose it is 3rd march that is 3 3 2015 so 3 dash 3 dash 2015 while scanning we enter that date for e2 employee then like that so dash dash that is formatting whatever formatting you can do here Okay, next is the value e2 dot EMPID comma e2 dot salary comma e2 dot DOJ dot date comma e2 dot DOJ dot month comma e2 dot DOJ dot year. Okay, last is the HCH and complete. Understood what is the meaning of nested structure? This is also a nested structure. Data and employee is the two different structures, but object or structure data member we can declare as a data member of another structure. That is structure within structure is called as a nested structure. This is one way, or there is another way is also that is embedded structure. That is another way of nested structure. Embedding means as actual, don't declare here structure date as it is. Structure variable. 
or structure object. Object is a term related to <coughs> object oriented programming that is, is used in CPT, Java, .NET. Okay. So E. Now what happened? Structure within structure is called as a nested structure or embedded structures. Okay. Everything is same. Because same object e dot doj dot d e dot doj dot one e dot doj dot year and accessing employee in salary e dot employee e dot salary clear and while you want to initialize e here itself then is equal to curly bracket this curly bracket is for outer structure employee suppose two hundred. Comma salary suppose five hundred and fifty dollar comma <coughs> now curly bracket what first is day okay suppose one January first January two thousand sixteen so two thousand sixteen curly bracket of nested structure is completed and curly bracket of outer structure is completed and gives the semicolon. So statically also we have to initialize the members of nested structures. There are two ways through which we have to declare structure, nested structure. One is separate two structure and one structure variable is initialized or declared inside the another structure. This is one way. Or there is a second way, directly define two structure, one structure within another outer structure. Clear? Okay. So, in this here, main point is how to access members of inner structure, that is nested structure. For that, one always remember, this is the inner structure. For accessing data members of the inner structure, there must variable of the inner structure. Otherwise, if you don't write date of joining as a variable, of inner structure, then we cannot access day, month, and year. Understood the meaning? And we cannot DOG outside the main. When we want to create the object of DOG, DOJ, we cannot create it in the main because we cannot access the struct day inside main because it is a nested. So it is only visible for employee struct. Clear? So it is must you have to declare DOJ inside when you use this type of nested structure. Understood? And if you use first type of nested structure, then you have to create object of date, structure date everywhere in main. Obviously, you can create the structure variables. And when you want that struct date becomes a private to the structure employee, struct employee, because it becomes a now private. We cannot create the object of struct date outside the struct employee. Clear? So, both are important points. As per the requirement of the user, we can use two different structures and embed in one within another it is the choice for user ok for security reason we can use this clear understood the meaning of structure first point is how we can initialize it statically dynamically and how we can access it that is the main point ok so we will stop here that is the last point in structure chapter